today I got this new carriage. Um, if you're wondering what happened to that last carriage I showed in my other video, put it on it and it, it didn't really work. So even though it, it was like new bogies, so like yeah, it was a bit too heavy. So we got this one which is plastic and it's more light. Um, it's like Pico. Um, it's made by uh, Pico. So yeah. Um, and um, believe it or not, this looks quite wide, like wide. And it probably doesn't look like it goes past that. But. Oh, that's too fast. But. It actually does. How, like, how does it go past it? And it does on the other side, too. Cool. And this one actually couples really well to the loco, which is good because even uh, the um, that other carriage, the uh, that big one, big long red one, that that c couldn't couple to this, but this one can because um, of the type of coupling it has. And then this is kind of like homemade couplings, it's like where this will couple to that. And there are actually wheels on here. Can't really see. It might look a bit unrealistic where it's so low, but it's like this in real life. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it uncoupled. It's because, um, it just, honestly, I have no idea why, but it's back on now. What it was, I think I touched it a bit, the carriage, maybe, and that's what caused it to derail, so. I mean, not derail, I mean, it uncoupled. So it literally just about gets through there, the, the train. Stop it there. I mean, if you look at the door comparison from this to the building, I know it's like that is a bit small, but I think they might just be in that like like that in real life. Um, I mean, this man, if if you put him in there, he could barely fit in there, but that's fine. <laughs> so yeah. Stop it again. Oh, I missed the station a bit. <laughs> yeah, I've got the camera right. Yeah, that's the end of the video. There's not that much more to show. Yeah, that's it. Bye.